guys, it's only Beano here today, and in today's video, I'm bringing you back another video. I'm not really sure if like you like this type of video, but I'm just giving you personal information on what happened with my other account and how I lost it. So I mean, I'm going to be telling you how I got scammed. I'm sorry to think I'm montage and think today is something new, but it was back in season five. This is a bit of a late speech, but um, what happened was, so obviously I was in a group on Facebook trying to like. See if there's any trading and that going on. And I had OG Nogots, Black Knight, 60 plus skins stacked. It had like 700 wins. Bearing in mind, this was only at the start of season 5 and the season 4. So if we had that now, it would be hella stacked. But what I did, what you shouldn't do is obviously went to trade with a guy. Obviously, he's asked for the details. He said he's going to do it at the same time. Got a fake moderator and stuff. Obviously, they've gone into all that. Got the account, got the whole PlayStation account off me, guys. Lost a lot of editing from my share factory and stuff like that, and um, lost a, a lot of other games on that account that I had. Clips, everything, all my friends that I had on it. I forgot a few of them now, but um, yeah, guys, just a message to go out to all of you don't even try and trade, it's not worth it. Like, you even if you, if you haven't got a rare skin, that's your account still, so. If you don't have it, you will miss it. Even if it's just like for a couple skins, you'll just remember and you had the OG times you had with that account. Like season one, my game plan. Like you can go check through old videos and see the stacked account and that. But obviously, do miss it. I had the, my OG times and memories on that account, but now I don't. And the reason why that happened is just like from being stupid, letting the guy do that, like letting him finesse me account, scam me, took the details, switched it up. And I started again in season five. Still had like, still was determined to play the game, so I still bought things on it and stuff because like I still play the game on the daily. So obviously, don't just want a default account on that. And obviously, if you've seen a couple of previous videos, I do showcase my locker so you can see what's on there. And uh, yeah, I feel I can't, it's kind of stat for a season five. But obviously, I've got nothing OG really now, like season one and two. And if I did have them both, I would have hella stat twins, like because on this account I have. 129 solos, 353 duels, 345 squads, and on the other I had like 700 in total, so I would have had like 1.5k, so it's just a bit of a loss anyway guys, and it's also against the terms and policy for Fortnite not to trade accounts, that's why they've brought out merging, so you can merge accounts with friends if they don't want it anymore, you can gift in the amp shop which has been out all season, so like yeah, Fortnite are doing anything to prevent it. Also, like, one thing that I'm still very angry about obviously, but one thing that didn't mind that Nogots returned because I had the OG Nogots, the OD Alpine Ace, all that. So the guy that has the account now, he's got nothing rare on it, so he can have the account all he likes really. But just saying, guys, if you have a personal account, don't try and trade it, keep it because that is your OG account, your account with memories on it, account that you'll remember for being a starter to the game, even when whenever you started. Mine was season one, but some people started season three and onwards, but. Still, don't try and trade, guys. Just a message to go out to all you. And, um, yeah, hopefully you got the message into your head. Like, this, just don't do it, guys. Really don't. It's not a good feeling. And I was in that group for a while. And um, I did actually got to get an account off a kid. I was meant to trade it with him, but I di didn't have an account at the time. So I scammed him for a sec. And then, obviously, I was lying to him, saying I was going to give him an account. This is a story where I felt bad on the kid. He was like... I trusted you bro and stuff and I knew the feelings though in me I was like nah I can't even have this account it's not mine I don't I'm not that type of person gave it him back thought about it there's no point in even doing this trade thing it's all pointless the accounts will get back anyway obviously if you're just a kid that has no life no feelings for anyone else it's just tight but like couldn't have had that kid's account I already know what the feelings like losing your personal account so anyway guys hopefully you enjoyed the video don't forget to drop a like comment subscribe and um Leave your thoughts on trading down below. One tip actually, the only reason I'll trade if it's someone you knew in person, close friends, people you can go and meet up, switch it all in person. Don't do it across online guys, a bad mistake. Anyway, that's it from me guys today. Please share the video with all your friends if not, and subscribe to the channel. I am trying to blow, get to 200 at least. I've grew um, 40 some subs in the past two weeks over. That video I did the other week on live streams and stuff, I am on the grind now guys, so you will be seeing more from me, um, more edits, more everything guys, so yeah, don't forget to turn that notification bell on and keep tuned in. Bye guys, see you in the next one.